Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today I'll show you settings which can increase the battery life on your TicWatch Pro 2020 and some of these settings will also work on other Wear OS smartwatches. So let's get started. If it's your first time on my channel, consider subscribing as I do regular videos for Wear OS smartwatches like this one, smartphone reviews, tech tutorials and much more. You'll find a dedicated playlist for TicWatch Pro with more detailed videos like this one so be sure to check it out. During this video, I'll also let you guys know which of these options will work on other Wear OS smartwatches. So if you don't have a TicWatch Pro, you can still use few of these settings to get more juice out of the battery. With that being said, TicWatch Pro has a distinctive advantage which no other Wear OS smartwatch can have and that is its proprietary dual layer display technology where there is an advanced FSTN LCD display over the color MLO display. LCD display consumes bare minimum power compared to the other color displays and the cherry on top is that apart from date and time you can still see your steps, battery percentage and heart rate on the LCD display. Most of the other Wear OS smartwatches like the Fossil Gen 5 have the time only mode with which you can get weeks of battery life but you can't see anything else except the time. So Mobvoi claims that with essential mode you can get up to 30 days. I haven't personally tested it but I'm sure it will be possible. From my test I was easily able to go over 2 weeks with essential mode and then I just gave up. But the point here is when the battery is completely drained most of the Wear OS smartwatches will turn off and you will have a brick on your wrist but that's not the case here. You can still have a cool LCD display. Now there are three ways to turn on the essential mode. Number one, go in the menu and you'll find the essential mode and you can turn on the essential mode directly. Number two, go in the settings, scroll down to find systems, wherein you'll find essential mode. And lastly, number three is press and hold the bottom right button to access all these settings wherein you will find the essential mode. Now the cool part is TicWatch Pro allows you to manually adjust when to trigger the essential mode. You can do that by going in the menu and open the essential mode. Slide to the next page to find auto switch. You can toggle it on and off and also choose from 20 to 5%. One important tip over here is if you enter the essential mode, you will not find any option to exit the essential mode. Well then, to exit the essential mode, all you have to do is long press the top right button for a few seconds until the watch restarts and it will automatically exit the essential mode. So this essential mode is exclusive to TicWatch Pro only. Next cool way to boost up the battery life is a hidden feature which you will find in most of the Wear OS smartwatches and that is in the developer mode. I have done an entire video on developer mode of TicWatch Pro, check it out in this video linked up here once you are done watching this one. Developer mode is by default hidden, so you can access it by going in settings, system, about and continuously click about 7 to 8 times on the build number to enter the developer mode. You'll find the developer mode in the settings all the way at the bottom. When you enter the developer mode, you'll find a lot of options which I have talked about in a separate video. But scroll down to find animation scales. The first one will be the Windows animation scale. Just go ahead and turn it off. Next will be the transition animation scale. Again go ahead and turn it off. As well as the last one is the animator duration scale. Just go ahead and turn it off as well. Now doing this will do two things. It will make your watch feel faster because you just turned off all the animations. So no animation means the watch seems faster and no animation means less stress on the processor and less power consumption. Now don't expect significant boost with these settings in particular but when combined with other settings coming up later during this video you will see significant difference. But you will definitely feel that your watch will be faster than usual. 
all right moving on since the TicWatch pro 2020 has an amylo display you can save battery life by having more black pixels on the screen simply because with any amylo display a black pixel is basically turned off so make sure it's complete black and not even gray as to display a gray color the pixel has to still light up so you can have more black pixels on the screen by selecting a bare minimum watch face which does not have any background images colors or shades just a black background on it like this one or you can even find other similar watch faces from the play store but you got the point this trick will work on any mlo display smartwatches like the fossil gen 5 and many more moving on let's go in the settings display and click on adjust brightness which by default is automatic but you can just go ahead and select 2 which i find is still bright enough maybe not outdoor but it's sufficient enough indoor you can even select one to further save more battery power but for this video purpose i will keep it to the maximum brightness this tip will work on most of the various smart watches next up is the always on screen this can be found right under the display setting by default this option is turned off in most of the watch as turning it on can be a heavy hit on any smartwatch as the display stays on all the time. Keep in mind if you turn this option on in the TicWatch Pro, the LCD display will be turned off as you basically override the command to switch to LCD display. This option is also available on most of the various smartwatches and it basically minimizes the details on any watch face to show you basic information like time. But I know some people prefer to have it on, in my experience keeping it on along with other heavy hit options will not let you go past 12 hours with the battery life. And I'm personally not a big fan of always on display as I like the LCD display better than the always on display. This tip will also work on most of the various smartwatches. Next tip is go in the settings, scroll down to find connectivity. Now you don't really need Wi-Fi, NFC and location unless you need specific applications like Spotify or Google Play Music for streaming which needs Wi-Fi, Google Pay for NFC and apps like Google Maps, Weather etc for location. You can turn these options on when you need to access any of these apps. In fact, when you open these apps, you'll be prompted to turn on these options if they were turned off. But keep in mind, if you just care about getting calls and notifications, you don't need anything except Bluetooth. So just turning off Wi-Fi, NFC and location will boost up the battery life. If you are someone who needs Wi-Fi, then there is an option of having Wi-Fi on automatic, which will automatically connect the watch to a Wi-Fi network when it loses Bluetooth connection or needs Wi-Fi for internet. But let's say if you know that you'll be traveling for a few days, it'll be worth turning these options off to long haul the battery life. This tip will also work on most of the latest Wear OS smart watches. For next tip, let's again go in the settings. Scroll down to find personalizations, wherein you'll find OK Google detection. Make sure to turn this off as having it on will consume battery life as the watch is constantly active in background to detect the prompt to open Google Assistant. Don't worry, you can still access Google Assistant even when you have turned this option off by going on the home screen, then swiping right and manually triggering the Google Assistant. This tip will also work on most of the various smart watches. Next tip is also in the settings. Scroll down to find gesture wherein you will find tilt to wake and wrist gestures. Make sure to turn them off as the display of the watch will light up every single time when you flick your wrist. And if your work demands a lot of hand movement, your battery will be just drained like crazy. I personally prefer to have the touch to wake option on as you can tap on the screen to activate it. 
I know this is a deal breaker for most of the folks out there, but it does affect the battery life. This again implies to all the latest Wear OS smartwatches. Next one is a unique feature which not a lot of people use. To access it, let's go in the settings, scroll down to find apps and notifications, wherein you should find an option named do not disturb when off wrist. Turning this option on will set your watch to do not disturb mode when you take it off from your wrist. Which means, let's say if you took off the watch from your wrist at night time, then the watch will automatically go in the do not disturb mode to save power. You can also manually toggle the do not disturb mode on and off from the main screen drop down menu which is handy at night time or when you have to go in a meeting or a movie etc. But there are few other handy options in the apps and notifications. Like the notification preview. I personally would select normal as setting it to high will always show the notification until you have seen it versus in normal it will only briefly show it for a few seconds which will consume less power. Next helpful tip will be the vibration pattern which is normal in my case but if you go for strong or double and let's say you get a ton of notification and calls during the day the watch has to vibrate which will eventually consume battery life. I believe so all these options should be available on other Wear OS smartwatches as well. Moving on for next tip let's go in the settings again scroll down to find general wherein you will find auto launch media control. Turning this option off will save battery life as your watch will not automatically launch media control every time when you play anything on your phone. But there is a reason why I kept this option almost at the end as I am sure a lot of people would like to have this option turned on just like me to have the luxury to control the media player on the phone automatically when you start it over the phone. This tip should also work on most of the latest Wear OS smartwatches. Next tip is also a personal preference, but just turning the watch to silent mode will save a significant amount of battery life if you were to get a ton of notifications and calls during the day. I appreciate the option of having it in the top drop down menu to quickly toggle sounds on and off. This again should work on most of the Vera smartwatches provided they have a built-in speaker like this TicWatch Pro 2020. Lastly, as discussed earlier during the video, if you are in a situation where you know that you will not get to charge your watch for a few days to weeks, use the essential mode as I bet it will get you over 3 weeks per charge. But in essential mode, you will not get any calls or notifications. With all that being said, all these settings will make your watch go more than 3 to 4 days depending on the amount of calls and notifications you get. For me, I'm not a heavy user and I'm easily able to get more than 2 days of battery life per charge. Not to mention, I can still take calls and see as well as interact with notifications. Keep in mind, when you pair TicWatch Pro 2020 with an iPhone, you will not be able to take any calls or reply or interact with any of the notifications. As I have shown in this video linked up here, you can check it out once you're done watching this one. Lastly, it will be helpful to the battery life if you avoid installing a lot of unwanted apps which runs in the background and takes up system memory and access background location and other sensors. I also want you guys to know that you can chat with me directly on my discord server linked in the description of this video and there you can also discuss and troubleshoot a lot of smartwatches and smartphones. So if you are on discord, join me on my server. With that being said, I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up. It really means a lot. Thanks so much for watching and take care. I'll catch you guys in the next one.